Hawaii's Kilauea volcano began its current eruption about three weeks ago. Every day since then, photographers have gone to amazing lengths to capture breathtaking images of nature's fury. Mark Strassman met some of the people documented the unpredictable drama in Hawaii. Kilauea's river of lava on the Big Island has been irresistible. Irresistible as a force on the move and irresistible to watch. There's something hypnotic about watching the volcano. It just draws you in. You can't look away. The, the colors and the, the power and the heat. It's rock doing something rock's not supposed to do. It's not supposed to move. Mitt Calber's a videographer. Bruce Amori shoots stills. Cal Dorn flies helicopters. Since Kilauea erupted more than three weeks ago, they've gone up 3,000 feet at daybreak every day to capture these images we've all seen about this unfolding disaster. Stills capture a moment of time, you know? It's a, it freezes that moment. What is this moment in your pictures for you? It's beauty, it's power, destruction, emotion all of those things into one image. For Amori, this volcano is tough duty. He has asthma and a sulfur allergy. As a kid, on field trips to volcanoes, he had to stay on the school bus. Must have been torture. Torture. I became obsessed with volcanoes and lava even before I got to see it in person. And when you come back and look at the images you've taken, what jumps out at you? The thing that hits me the most is seeing these homes destroyed. I can never get used to that. It's an irony of nature. It's so beautiful, yet so destructive. I mean, it's re really moving for me. The lost homes Mick Calber has recorded could soon include his own house, now a half mile from the lava flow. We're not living there anymore. We've taken a bunch of stuff, valuable stuff out, but we still have a lot of furniture and appliances and stuff, and it's just a matter of how long they flow before they stop. Pilot Cal Dorn's job is to focus on flying, not the lava. I have to turn away because I'm really trying to keep everybody safe <laughs> in a helicopter and get the shots that they want, but it's mesmerizing, and it is, these flows now are bigger than anything I've seen. Photographers Calber and Amori both say they're witnessing and recording something otherworldly the dawn of time in the present. It's primordial. Yeah. You know, this is like, this is like, you, you almost expect to see a dinosaur over here, <laughs> or, you know. It, it's just really otherworldly. It's a reminder of how temporary we are as opposed to this planet. They feel it whenever they hover over Kilauea's lava. Birth and death, indivisible in the same mesmerizing moment. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, on the big island of Hawaii. It's such beautiful imagery. Very yeah. Jurassic Park like yes, you know, when I know. you said I that, that, right? I didn't expect <laughs> to see a dinosaur. It's so true. Primordial. It yeah, exactly. <laughs>